Number three, why should you roll or belly crawl rather than walk across a thinly frozen pond? So here we go again with my lovely drawings. <laughs> here is a pond, right? And maybe, you know, sometimes it glistens. So we have these like little things. Beautiful, right? Here's my lovely little pond. So we have two options, right? We're either going to roll or belly crawl or we're going to walk. So here I am. Oh my gosh. Here I am. I'm going to walk. And maybe to make this even a better uh, you know, idea, I'm going to put my feet a little bit together because I'm going to be quite cautious, right? When you walk on ice, you're a little cautious. So you take like little baby steps, right? Then somebody, uh, you know, says, mm, if you're going to walk, I'm going to try to, you know, belly crawl. So now, you know, the next person is going to be on the ground <laughs> and maybe just to show that they have like, you know, here, here they are belly crawling. Oh my gosh. Maybe I'll just do that. Okay. And then of course they're smiling too, right? <clears throat> Beautiful. So now, this idea comes from pressure. The one formula that we're going to use to talk about, uh, to answer this question, is this formula right here. It's pressure equals force over area. P stands for pressure. And pressure is always equal to the amount of force um, over a certain area and let's just pretend we're going to be talking about it in terms of surface area so let's just pretend that this is the same person it's me right and i am going to first walk across the pond and then i'm going to belly roll right so in that case if it's the same person the force would be the same a type of force is a weight. So all of our weights, like when you, you know, weigh yourself or any, anything that has a weight to it, that's just a force. This comes from physics. So let's just say that this is constant. So for a, for a given constant weight, aka a given constant force, there can be changes in the pressure because of the surface area. Now, if we look at this formula, pressure and area are what to each other? Are they directly related or are they inversely or indirectly related? They're indirectly related, right? Pressure, this would be over one, and one is in the numerator, the other one's in the denominator, so that means that they're inverse to each other. If they were both in the numerator, they would have a direct relationship. So pressure and surface area are inversely related. So that means that if I increase my surface area, I'm just going to say SA, that means that my pressure exerting on the object would decrease. And then vice versa, if I have a lower surface area, the pressure that I'm going to exert on an, on an object would be much higher. So let's just talk about the surface area of me walking. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Oh, I'm having too much fun. Uh, so let's talk about the surface area of me walking across the pond, right? Well, what's really touching the ice? Well, if I'm walking, only the, the, my feet are basically touching the pond. I have all of this weight resting on my feet, and I have to get across the pond. In this case, since it's only my feet, I have a really, really low surface area. I have this whole body that's resting on my feet, that's applying pressure on the ice. So a low amount of surface area, a high amount of pressure. Ugh. So let's just do the same thing with the body crawl. Remember, it's the same person as me, so the force is the same. But now I'm body crawling across the ice, right? Or I'm rolling across the ice. So when that happens, what's the surface area? Well, if you're rolling or you're crawling, mainly your whole bottom side of your body is touching the ice, right? 
my stomach, majoritively, my stomach would be touching the ice and maybe my arms would be touching the ice. If I'm trying to scoot, maybe my legs would be touching the ice. But look at that surface area. That's way more surface area than if I would walk on the ice. And if that's the case, since I have a greater amount of surface area, the amount of pressure that I'm exerting on the ice is way lower because they're inverse or related. So this idea is the reason why you would belly crawl because more surface area gives you less amount of pressure and the ice is not going to crack. Here, since I'm putting all of my pressure on my feet, right? It's a lower surface area. Chances are the ice would crack because it's just much more pressure. And that's it. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Love helping you guys out. And I love talking to you guys. So I hope, uh, you know, I hope that this helped. And I hope you guys are having a great day. Let's keep studying hard. And I'll see you in the next lesson. Okay. Bye-bye.